Hello and welcome back to yet another video from Matty DJB and in today's video what I will be discussing with you as a viewer is I'm going to leave my notes for this if I'm being completely honest with you I'm going to leave my notes for this and just for the first part though so, so don't worry um I will be saying this from me on the top of my head really I mean that's time is oh okay growing out of a phase as you can see by the title <laughs> Point one, and there will only be one point in this video. Babe. As we grow, we get interested in different things. I remember when in year three, majority of the boys were like, mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. girls have coatings, and uh, none of the boys really. How should I put this in uh, like the way that I really was liked girls in any form of way, maybe as a friend or anything like that, which is pretty normal. But actually, screw that. No, no, boys were friends with boys, girls were friends with girls. That all stopped in year four and year five. And then puberty, and then kick. What am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? But seriously, in year three, boys wouldn't not really get anywhere near a girl that's probably how it was and then they said oh we touched a girl we have cooties for example uh, but let's just say in secondary school and when you get older that depending on who you are I guess depending on who you are is completely different and um, yeah let's just say it's, it's different but a phase is an interest and it may be different i.e. I quote this for myself I, I, I coined this actually, um, yes, I don't think anyone has said this, if they have, please tell me, <laughs> but um, yeah, the things we like reflect the people we are, and that is the end of my notebook page, I will be now using my brain, wait, my head, wait, my memory, okay, so with that all said and explained, yeah, who we are reflects the things we like, or, and that's really vice versa too, what we like reflects the people that we are and that could really be anything i can bring up any sort of example let's say a kid who likes fire trucks but wants to become a firefighter a kid who likes knives wants to act in a horror movie not become a serial killer let's just have that mindset and um yeah really i mean who like what we like and what we have really reflects the people that we are where we work also reflects the people we are just who we hang out with i mean everything we do really reflects the people that we are actually um it's just that it shows in everything that we do and just I mean, yeah i mean that, that's really it end of the video hope you like subscribe comment share uh end the video explained um uh, who are you um what, what do you like uh, amen <laughs> Imagine if I ended the video like that. Anyway, <laughs> no, this is not the end of the video. Um, you're gonna have to watch some more. So, um, yeah, to continue that, really, it's just that we like stuff based on not necessarily okay. I could say that we like stuff based on what we see our parents do, but we are our own individual people. Yes, we may be influenced by other people and what's the word swayed to another aspect of something completely different and we start liking something else <clears throat> yeah so i mean it could be i mean like we may be interested in what our parents like yeah but yet again we are our own individual person and when we start to like what we like uh, or what we like in general really i mean we see it we're exposed to it and it's rather we We enjoy it or we don't enjoy it. So I won't really say it's destined. I'm gonna probably gonna bring some religion into this or something like that. I won't really say it's destined from the destined from the start. Well, actually, that's what we're going to be in our whole life has already planned ahead. So yeah, what happens is 
predestined, yes, depending on how you look at it, or depending on if you're religious, or depending on your religion, really. But that's how I see things, really. What we do is already pretty much predestined, and what we like is already pretty much predestined, and yeah, really. Um, but what we like spike something, what we're exposed to spike something into what we're most likely going to be in the future. As I gave the example a little bit earlier, things that we enjoy, i.e., I don't know, a kid really likes playing with knives. There are like two things we can think about. He can one become a really talented actor or two a really talented knife guy or girl or one i don't want to say probably maybe become a serial killer but we don't know for certain anyways <laughs> but um yeah really well, what we enjoy to do is who we are i mean it's all come it all comes from inside and it just one day it comes out really and sparks i mean we see something we're like huh you know what i want to do that or we see something like yeah you know what? i, I want to stay away from that uh yeah no not for me it, it really already what what it is what it is really um i mean i guess that's really what this video is about but no no it's not what we like is who we are it's most about it's mostly about phases and as we grow yes we do change into completely different phases and how should i put this evolve i guess <laughs> um our mindset i believe i've already done a video similar to this but this is a little bit more explained better really a phase is something that we go through really throughout our lives things that we enjoy we just kind of you know push it aside and like you know what i don't like this anymore but i like the better version you know i don't like thomas and trains no more i don't like thomas and friends no more but i like transforming trains <laughs> or i like train sets or um stuff <laughs> but um yeah really it, it can it can still grow what, what we the foundation of what we like can still be there but it will definitely grow as so we also grow as we also grow things that we like become more advanced again taking the concept of liking trains when you were young when you're older maybe you may end up working as like a train conductor but that's at the end in the middle let's say teenage years or so uh still enjoy or like probably probably maybe secretively a train set or something like that or photography let's say when you're younger you really enjoyed cameras and when you're a teenager you really wanted like your own actual camera or wanted to start doing your own videos or something like that and then when you're older you can one end up being a f someone who films movies or a director or something like that or work in the movie industry or a youtuber either way really what we start off liking is a phase yes it may grow and advance with us or it may completely change and waver let's say again another example i'm so sorry for all these examples but let's say we really want to be an archaeologist one day and we're just like you know what i don't want to dig up corpses from probably hundreds or even thousand years ago or fossilized beings from a couple hundreds or thousand maybe years ago uh, i would rather debate with a random stranger that i've never met in my life for a case that is probably a lie <laughs> but uh yeah i mean really it all just depends on our experience really i mean if we don't go through a certain path yeah we may end up not liking that certain thing uh and you know what i'll say what i was about to say for maybe a later video and um you'll be surprised probably by what i was going to say but i guess that really wraps this video up and ends this video and i'll see you in the next video um stay true to yourself stay humble and peace yeah safe see you next video